proto-human skulls found in Eastern Asia that date back thousands of years could change the history of our species. Moreover, the discovery of archaic human skulls in East Asia lends credence to the theory that humans did not originate solely from African ancestors. It is possible that our understanding of where our species came from needs to be revised. An examination of an ancient skull discovered in East Asia reveals that it bears a startling resemblance to the oldest known fossils of our species discovered in Morocco, which is over 6,000 miles to the west. The skull provides some evidence, contrary to the prevalent belief, that modern people are not solely descended from African predecessors. On the basis of fossil evidence, the majority of anthropologists believe that our species originated in Africa some 200,000 years ago. In addition to this, research conducted on the genetic makeup of modern humans suggests that all of us are descended from a single population that left Africa during the past 120,000 years and expanded over the rest of the world. This African population is the origin of all of the genes that make up modern humans, with the exception of a few genes that were acquired through hybridization with other species, such as Neanderthals. However, the examination of the ancient skulls from East Asia discovered too many parallels to the earliest human fossils found in Africa for it to be a coincidence. Indeed, perhaps not all Ilri humans originated in Africa. The study, titled A Multivariate Assessment of the Dali Hominin Cranium from China, Morphological Affinities and Implications for Pleistocene Evolution in East Asia, was published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology. For the past several months, I've been using Private Internet Access VPN to allow me to watch all my favorite channels and shows that are blocked outside of the US. With over 30 million downloads, Private Internet Access VPN is the most trusted VPN provider in the world. Your IP address is concealed using Private Internet Access VPN, and your internet connection is encrypted. This protects your digital life from being viewed by others. Private Internet Access software not only protects your online privacy, but also stops advertisements, trackers, and harmful websites. You can view all of your favorite entertainment from any location without restriction, thanks to compatibility with all major streaming services. Signing up for this service carries no risk because a 30-day money-back guarantee is offered, and customer support is available around the clock. By using my exclusive link in the description below the video, you can get an 83% discount on Private Internet Access VPN. A skull that came to be known as the Dali Skull was found in the central region of China more than four decades ago. The early hominid species Homo erectus was thought to be represented by this bone fossil's owner. Despite being around 260,000 years old, its face structure and brain case are still preserved in their entirety. Because it is from such an ancient time period, experts were first skeptical that the Dali skull could have any similarities to current Homo sapiens. In point of fact, the skull believed to belong to the Dali man may not be consistent with the out of Africa idea. A remarkable amount of the skull's components, including the face and the brain case, have been preserved. According to the findings of a new study, the skull is around 260,000 years old. When the Dali skull was first described by researchers more than 40 years ago, they thought the skull belonged to Homo erectus at the time. The first members of this human species arrived in Southeast Asia approximately 1.8 million years ago, and likely vanished from the region by 100,000 years ago. This is consistent with the commonly accepted narrative of human evolution as well as the out of Africa idea. In fact, Scientists found that the face of the Dali skull shared many similarities with the faces of Homo sapiens, our species. This led researchers to speculate that the presence of Homo erectus in East Asia may have played a role in the development of Homo sapiens. To put it another way, it's possible that at least some of the DNA found in modern humans originated in Asian Homo erectus. This hypothesis is widely discredited in the present day since it runs counter to the accepted model that humans originated in Africa. But according to the findings of many researchers, we do not yet have a full comprehension of where Homo sapiens came from. Scientists have conducted further research on the skull of the Dali man and compared it to the skulls of other hominins, such as Homo erectus and early Homo sapiens. What's more, 
the skull bears a striking resemblance to archaic Homo sapiens skulls that have been discovered in Morocco in the past, and are collectively known as the Jebel Erhoud skull. Researchers have discovered that the skull owned by Dali Man is very identical to two Homo sapiens skulls discovered in Morocco. Jebel Erhoud was the location where researchers recently discovered fragments of a third Homo sapiens cranium. The fossils were dated to approximately 315,000 years old. This resulted in a significant delay of 115,000 years in determining the genesis of our species. Similar to the Dali skull, the skulls found in Jebel Erhoud contain the faces of Homo sapiens, but the brain cases resemble those of Neanderthals and other more primitive humans. The Moroccan skulls provide strong support for the theory that Homo sapiens originated only in Africa, evolving from hominin groups that were already residing on that continent. But the Dali skull gives the impression that the events may have been more convoluted. There is a possibility that the hominins that lived in Africa were not genetically distinct from those that lived in Eurasia. Genes may have been able to migrate freely between Africa and Eurasia, as a result of the widespread yet localized migration of individual hominins, such as adolescents and young adults leaving their family group to join that of a neighboring population. According to this hypothesis, the genetic characteristics of Homo sapiens that first arose in Morocco 315,000 years ago could have surfaced in individuals living in East Asia 260,000 years ago, including the Dali skull. This would have been the case if the situation played out as described. Another conclusion is that gene flow may have occurred in both directions, meaning that some of the characteristics that are prevalent in Europe or Africa may have actually originated in Asia. In other words, it is possible that some characteristics associated with Homo sapiens originated in East Asia, and then were transported to Africa. If what these scientists say is correct, then our ancestry does not come solely from Africa. The alternative explanations are either that Homo sapiens left Africa much earlier than we thought, and arrived in East Asia by 260,000 years ago, which contradicts the genetic evidence, or that Asian Homo erectus separately evolved some of the traits of modern humans, but these, protohumans, left no descendants. However, neither of these explanations is supported by the evidence. According to paleoanthropologist John Hawkes, the co discoverer of Homo naledi in South Africa, Making a comparison between the skulls from Dali and Morocco is informative. He is willing to entertain the possibility that the skull identified as Dali man was a member of the ancestral population from which our species descended. According to what he has said, in a genuine sense we are talking about a multi-regional population that is linked recurrently through migration and genetic exchanges. On the other hand, he believes that in order to be certain, we require additional data. There are some parallels between the Dali skull and the Moroccan skulls, but they are not sufficient to substantiate these claims, according to some paleoanthropologists. When it comes to the vast amount of genetic data, it becomes very difficult to give East Asia a significant role in the origins of modern human beings, according to Chris Stringer at the Natural History Museum in London, who came up with the out of Africa theory. However, Stringer told New Scientist magazine, that the scenario does not completely rule out the possibility that genes from Eurasia played a role in the development of the Homo sapiens species. He says he is open to Asian-African linkages at this time, but just with Western Asia and Africa. Stringer is not interested in ties further afield such as East Asia. But there are other archaeologists who think that Homo erectus and Homo sapiens must have shared DNA due to the striking number of morphological similarities between the two species. Researchers recently re-examined the Dali skull and came to the conclusion that it may, in fact, require us to rewrite our evolutionary past. This finding comes after decades in which mainstream academia has largely disregarded this theory. If we had only discovered the skulls that were found in Morocco, and not the skull that was found in Dali, it would make sense to continue believing that all modern humans evolved in Africa. The similarities, on the other hand, indicate that early modern people were probably not genetically isolated from other parts of the world, including East Asia. Therefore, gene flow may have occurred in more than one direction, and some of the characteristics that are found in Europe or Africa may have their roots in Asia, according to some scientists.
Therefore, it's possible that some of the qualities we associate with modern Homo sapiens actually originated in East Asia, and that they were only later transported to Africa. Scientists will still need to conduct additional comparisons between the skull from Dali and the ones from Morocco. But the ramifications are tremendous. We are talking about rewriting the origins of our species as we know it, re-evaluating how our ancestors traveled and interacted with one another, and then rethinking how they evolved as a result of these processes.